It is Thursday during football season, and you know what that means. It's time for NFL Picks with host of the Our Quest Short Order Launch, Brian Fisher. Hey, Fish. Hey, thanks for having me in, Jay. So uh, last weekend, you know, we had the conference championship games. Yeah. We had another come-from-behind win with Tom Brady and the Patriots <laughs> against the Jags. Never count them out. I, I think it's going to be a trend that we're going to be seeing. Another one. Another yeah. one. Another this, <laughs> another that, whenever it comes to, to the New England Patriots. Um, yeah, man, it was a it was a highly talked-about game. I, I don't remember seeing this many conspiracy theories about a football yeah. game before. Um, not saying that I'm giving in to those conspiracy mysteries with with that, but uh, man, I, I'll I'll tell you, he's uh, he's the goat, and uh, that's yeah. one reason why he is. And and a lot of times you see the conspiracy theories against people who are really good. Yeah, you saw oh, him yeah. against uh, Alabama in the national championship game in, right. in college football. Yeah, you know, just somebody who has success. They, they create opportunities for themselves by getting them back in the game. That's true. And so uh, he's going to another Super Bowl. Then uh, the NFC side, you had your Vikings fish at the Eagles, and it just it was just one of those games where it just wasn't the Vikings game. No, it, it was not meant to be, and, the, and that game proved it uh, for my Vikings. I was sick that night, so I didn't watch the uh, the entire game. I didn't get to watch the whole game. Yeah. Uh, for for good reason, trust me. I won't go into detail on on the air why, but uh, I'm kind of glad that I didn't get to see the whole game because I, I you know, I, I probably wouldn't be able to talk about it as well. Much. It was just one of those games where, you know, Vikings scored first and then Eagles scored and then they had a pick six and then they scored again and it just it kind of got really out of hand real quick and they're yeah. just hard hard to come back against. Philadelphia that. is a very tough place to play yeah, too. Yeah, right? if, if, if you play. did you see the video of the Vikings fan walking into the stadium? No, uh, one no. of the ladies had uh, there was a woman had posted a video to her Facebook page and I mean trash being thrown at them, oh, of course wow. birds being shot, explosive uh, <laughs> words, expletive words yeah. being shouted here and there, people just up in their face and this was walking into the stadium wow. uh, you know, for, for Vikings fans uh, so much so that a lot of a lot of Eagles fans, I saw this new story yesterday or, yesterday, or earlier today, um, a lot of Eagles fans uh, started donating to charities uh, that, that was supported by Minnesota and the Vikings uh, as a way of apologizing yeah. for, for, for that uh, behavior. So, Well, uh, Minnesota does get to host the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl 52 yeah. up there. It'll be on NBC, not this Sunday, but the next, right. 6.30 p.m. Right. And we're not going to pick the game this week. We're going to save that for, for next week. But what are some of the keys that you're looking at? What are some of the big storylines uh, that, that you think are going to factor in to who wins this game? I think that one of the, the, the big factors is going to be how New England's defense is, is going to handle that to the offense from the Eagles, honestly. Yeah. I mean, uh, I know Nick Foles is their backup quarterback, but, man, he's proven himself the last few weeks. Sure. He, he really has right at the end of the season. If they don't just have a good offense. They've got a great defense, and they shut down Minnesota. Uh, but that offense was able to navigate the best defense in the NFL as well. So, um, you know, I think I think New England having a you know a, a weaker defense, I'm not gonna say yeah. a, a completely weak defense, is gonna be one of the the storylines going into the game. So, and an, another thing I'm gonna watch is can New England get off to a good start? Yeah, we've seen them come back. We saw them come back against the Jags. Of course, they had the the epic comeback against the Falcons a year ago. But at some point. They're going to have a game where they get behind too much, yeah. and it's not going to work out. And they have they have to get off to a good start this game. Well, I think I didn't know this. Apparently, Tom Brady's from the Minnesota area. Yeah, has, has a lot of family a lot of up, there. up there. Yeah, yeah. so that's that's kind of going to be a homecoming for him in a yeah. sense. With a, a, he's going to have a lot of family there. Um, so yeah, that will be interesting to see how how he performs. Uh, going back to Minnesota. Because let's let's not forget the, the past few games, the the big games the Patriots have been in, they've got behind early. They yeah. did it against yeah. the Jags. They did it against the Falcons. They did it in the Super Bowl against Seattle where they come back and won that one. Yeah, they did it in the previous two Super Bowls. They played against the Giants and lost. Yeah. So, you know, they, they have a way of really – um, ignoring distractions throughout the week and coming ready to play, but for some reason it takes them a while to get going. When them refs decide to start uh, calling it their way, yeah, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> when they, uh, they're congratulating Brady on the touchdown. <laughs> it's the Eagles against the refs coming up next Sunday night. <laughs>
Yeah, I think you're going to hear a lot of that talk too, yeah, Fish. Yeah, I no will. doubt about it. But yeah. should be a great game. We're going to have you in here next week, same time, same place, and we're going to pick the big game. Looking forward to it. Well, real quick, I got a question yeah. for you. Yeah. Are uh, anything enticing to make you want to watch the Pro Bowl coming up this week? Uh, no. <laughs> not even not even the celebrity dodgeball tournament in its second year. I will say that was pretty entertaining last year. Yeah. That, so I don't know who the participants are this year, but but I, I guess I'll probably watch it just because I've got so many Vikings players that's participating, <laughs> and that's going to be kind of my, yeah. my my staple on the season, my, it's, my, my ending as well. It's NFL Picks on Highway 106 and 1023 as the New River Building Supply Afternoon Show rolls on.